Hi, it is now Monday the 30th of May. It's two weeks since I had my Botox treatment for retrograde cricopharyngeus disorder um, or the inability to burp. And so this is going to be my kind of my look back on the whole experience, really, and, and this, how successful it's been or not been um, and think about like what's what's next. So um, you may have seen my last video that I posted a few days ago, uh, which kind of is a bit of a spoiler to kind of where we are with, with my journey. Um, essentially, uh, I have had some success with this treatment in that I have been able to uh, release some gas. I've ha I, have, I, have, I have had a few burps, um, but I haven't had the um, level of success that I would have hoped for on first treatment. Um, if I was to put a percentage on it, I'd say it's about 20% successful in that um, when I um, really try, um, I can sort of contort my body and try and get some gas out. Um, there's been occasions when, when gas has just popped out, which has been like, you know, a great joy when that's happened. Um, I haven't felt that massive sense of relief uh, that I thought I might get going through this process and um, so for me I think a second dose is pretty likely that I'm going I'm going to need that um, I've actually got my check-in with Lucy um, Hickling in a couple of weeks time my month check-in where I'll be discussing progress um, and I fully anticipate that I'll be talking to her about uh, what we can do about second dose because I don't know when when we can do that um, do I need to wait six months can I have a top up now I really don't know so um, I will do an update once I've had that conversation um, I would thoroughly recommend going through this still 100% recommend it because there has been some relief just those moments when I've been able to to, to release some gas then it's been great um, I just um, it, I almost feel like it's got to a point when I've forgotten that I've had it um, and I don't mean that in a sense of, I, th I imagine some people are like, oh, it's so amazing, my life's changed, and I don't, I think I even had the, the situation. Uh, what I mean is, I forget I've had the treatment, I feel pretty much the same um, as I did. Um, I'm quite lucky, I suppose, because I've, um, I've had this for so long that I've managed it, like, you know, this isn't like crisis point, it's just be, it's business as usual, you know, it, it's, it's, um, it's still there, I'm still not able to, release gas. I do think part of this is um, a bit of stage fright almost, like um, burping in public. Because I've got to almost try, I don't want to be doing all this when I'm kind of out in public or out with friends. So I kind of don't know what to do. And, you know, that's why you hope that I think what should happen, this is why I think it's not worked so well for me. I think what should happen is it should just come out and it shouldn't you shouldn't have to try and i've had pretty much nothing of that i've had occasions as i say where, where it's just kind of popped out and it's been quite exciting but um other than that it's not really been um uh been been there and and i'm and i'm tense and i'm like oh gosh i want to try and burp and, and i can't and therefore i just can't relax the um the muscle so yeah summary really um i'm glad i had it done i've had a bit of relief i think about 20 percent success um i can't imagine things going to change drastically now uh from from where i am so i'll have my two-week check-in i'll probably do i'll do a video after that about what next steps are if anything amazing happens in the meantime i'll do another video but i i, I don't expect there will be so um yeah unless a miracle happens i will update in two weeks time after my chat with lucy